What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Aries, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This free general collective reading for sign of Aries. This can resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Lilith, Moon, and Hater, Jupiter chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. If one has free will, only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the shares of my content on social media and word of mouth. Thanks for all the love and support to the channel. I really greatly appreciate it. Help support a single mama and one of her income streams, so I appreciate it. Hold on one second, you guys. I apologize. I think one of you guys is about to have a tower moment because the cards don't ever do this when I shuffle. Never. Not the animal spirit. Never. Um, that could be a positive tower moment or a negative tower moment I'm feeling. I, I didn't hear you're going to have a tower moment, but I feel intuitively for one, you might. Or it could be somebody you're connected to. Because um, these cards never do this when I shuffle and I'm just being serious. And everything that happens in a reading you, um, happens for a reason, and that's just the truth. Um, I did receive one channel message as I was um, meditating on your energy, Aries. Um, this can resonate if you have Aries in any aspect of your charts. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest, okay? But the channel message I received was um, an Aries is about to find out about um, a special needs child um, that wanted to run away. Um, that's what I heard. So, it doesn't sound like you've heard the news yet. Um, now, whoever you are and however you're connected to this special needs child and how that resonates and applies, um, only you would know how you connect to this special needs child. For some, it could be your child. For some, it could be uh, a family member. For some, it could be a neighbor, community member. Uh, maybe you are a professional and you hear about it professionally. Um, however, this resonates and applies in your own particular life, story, and situation, Aries. Um, but it is. Um, not, I don't feel it's your child. Um, I really don't. Um, I don't. Um, because I feel if it was your child, you would know immediately, or at least I would, if you're a caring, loving parent, you would know hopefully immediately. And that's just the truth. So I feel for most of you guys, it's not your child. And I'm just being serious. I think it's somebody you're connected to's child, or somehow you're connected into this special needs child and you're about to find out. And I'm just being serious. But you haven't found out yet, but you're about to. It sounds like soon. You're about to find out soon. Confirmation. You're about to find out soon. You're about to find out soon. But it is a special needs child that attempted to run away, that wanted to run away. So attempt to run away. But you're about to find out about this special needs child soon. I heard soon that they wanted to run away. Some kind of attempt to run away, wanted to run away. Um... It is about to become very significant in your life. It's about to become very significant in your life. So, like I said, I feel for a majority of you guys, if this resonates for you, I don't feel it's your child because I feel if it's your child, I would hope if you're a caring, loving parent, you would find out, you'd be one of the first people to find out. Or you would be there when the special needs child, hopefully they would come talk to you. Um, it doesn't sound like they ran away, but they sure wanted to. Um, so I don't feel it is your child for a majority of you guys, but somehow for at least one, it's about to become very significant in your life. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Aries. Spirit messages you have us on Aries. But it is a special needs child. So special needs. So I'm just making that very clear. Special needs. Okay. Spirit messages you have us on Aries. I've been picking up a lot of special needs children energy in here recently. But somehow the special needs child is about to become very significant in your life. I feel for some this could be in a professional aspect. I really do. Somehow, intuitively, I feel for whoever this is for, this is a majority of you guys. I feel this is going to be on a professional aspect. I just somehow intuitively feel that. I do. Spirit messages you have a sign of uh, Aries. I, I mean, for some, it may not be, but I feel for a majority, if this resonates for you, it's on a professional aspect. About to take some great action after you find this out. Okay, I heard you're about to take some great action after you find this information out. So, 
Yeah, I don't, whoever this is for, I don't feel you are the parent. Or, I mean, I don't, or you, I mean, or you don't have custody of the child. I mean, I'm serious. Whoever this is for, I think this is a professional level, or it's a parent that doesn't have custody of a child, of the child, or guardianship of the child. And I'm serious. Or the parent is not closely connected in the child's life or something. Whoever this is for, I think this is like a professional connection or not somebody that's very closely connected to this, like, not like a first immediate emergency contact is what I'm saying. Or something like that. But I heard you're going to take right action, though, after you find out. And I heard you're going to find out soon. Spirit messages here. I have a sign of Aries. Because it sounds like the child already attempted to run away. But you're about to find out soon. I definitely don't think you're the guardian. For sure, for sure. Spirit messages you have a sign of Aries. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity, happiness. You also have hummingbird or camel. For some, you could be dealing with an air sign or an earth sign. If you are, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, world, sun, moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are, Aries. An apology is about to become very significant in an Aries life. For one, you're about to give the apology. For one, somebody's about to apologize to you. Okay, an apology is about to become very significant in Aries' life. For one of you guys, you are about to apologize to someone. For one of you guys, somebody's about to apologize to you. For some, it could be both. So some kind of apology energy. Only you know how this is going to resonate and plug into your life, not anybody else. Whether you are um, going to apologize to person or people or... Somebody is going to apologize to you or both. Because, you know, you could apologize to somebody and somebody could apologize to you. How that resonates and applies. Okay, so news of a birth or a new business opportunity, happiness. Spirit messages you have reflected. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. And then we got um, a fourth one. I hardly ever take the fourth one unless it comes out naturally. And it did come out naturally this time, as you can see. I got a fourth one in Libras too, and I took the fourth one. I don't ever take more than four of these, of the tea leaves. But a fourth one did come out naturally, so I'm going to take it. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. messages transcending number 23 can be very significant number in one's life number 23 it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other, any other significant number number 23 hummingbird News is about to spread very quickly about many things to you. You are very high position, high authority. News is about to spread very quickly to you about many things. You're a very high position, high authority. So if this resonates for you, this particular message applies for you. News is about to spread very quickly to you. Um, about many things and I heard you're a very high position of authority. I didn't hear specifically what occupation you are um, It doesn't sound like the news has spread quickly yet to you about many things But it, it sounds like it's gonna happen soon and I think it's gonna give you an awakening with the transcending energy um, 
is what I'm feeling. Uh, but yeah, for some, the news could be about a birth or a business opportunity or some other kind of news, but uh, definite news coming quickly about many things and you are a very high position authority. For one, you're a CEO. One, you are a judge. One, you're a very high level manager. One, you're a CEO. One, you're a judge. One, you're a very high level manager. This information is about to change your perspective on the past. You're about to take huge action. Okay. So for one, you're a judge, one, you're a CEO, and one, you are a high-level manager. So whatever high-level manager of whatever, wherever you're a high-level manager, I should say, okay? So one, you're a judge, one, you're a CEO, um, chief executive officer is a CEO, for anybody who doesn't know, and one, you are a high-level manager of some company, I'm presuming, okay? Uh, whatever company that is and however that resonates, but... The news spreading quickly to you, whether you're a judge, CEO, or high-level manager, uh, quickly and soon with the hummingbird energy is about to change your perspective on the past. And I heard once you uh, receive this news, it's about, and it sounds like it's workplace here, professional, uh, very professional, CEO, judge, and high-level manager. It's going to change your perspective on the past, and you're going to take great action. So um, I feel awakening energy with the transcending um, higher level thinking, perspective change, um, awakening energy, um, and I'm, I'm just being for real, but you plug it in how it resonates, um, but hummingbirds are very loud and proud, this is the news spreading here, loud and proud, um, very public energy, basically, this is public eye energy as well, public eye energy, um, you are heavy in the public eye, if this resonates for you, whether you're a judge, a CEO, or a high-level manager, you are heavy in the public eye, they're about to, news coming, all over the place coming to you. So uh, communication, hummingbirds, um, this is public eye energy with communication and public eye energy. I heard you're going to take great action, so I also think that could be the hummingbird energy too. Um, getting out there and hopefully making positive changes to your society, community, or occupation, or whatever you're going to do there. Um, hopefully in a positive fashion. I didn't hear it was going to be, but you do have a happiness in a, energy. So I think for some, this news is going to make you happy. Heard it's going to completely change your perspective of the past. You're going to take great action. So I think this news might make you happy, um, possibly for some. For some, it may not, because you also have the, you should accept valid criticism. So I feel for some, the news might be negative. For some, it might be positive news. For some, it may be both. You plug it in, how it resonates. I didn't hear specifically what kind of news it is. But I did hear you're going to take great action. So whether it's positive or negative, okay? It's definitely going to change your perspective of the past. About to open your eyes in a huge way. About to open your eyes in a huge way. So it's whatever news this is, it's going to open your eyes in a huge way, okay? Camel. Incest in an earth sign is about to become very significant in an Aries life. Oh, my God Almighty. Why am I pulling in so much incest? I got it in Virgos, too. Oh, my God. That's so sick. I just want to say, whoever supports incest, that is a very outdated belief system. Very, very, very outdated belief system. We are in 2022. People need to move forward in a positive fashion. That is so disgusting in so many ways. And I'm just being serious. Somebody need. oh, that's so gross. It just turns my stomach every time I hear that in the reading. Heard incest and earth sign um, is about to become very significant in a Aries life. 
Uh, for some, you can be the judge, the high-level manager, or the CEO. For uh, some, you can be anybody else. But somehow, an earth sign and incest is about to come sniffing in your life. Whoever the earth sign and incest is. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Hopefully, this is an adult and not a child. I don't know. I just heard an earth sign of incest. Uh, incest is in the family. It doesn't have to be pedophilia with a minor. It doesn't have to be. But incest is definitely in the family. It doesn't have to be pedophilia. It don't have to be a minor. I didn't hear it was. But incest in the family energy and an earth sign. Hopefully not pedophilia. I didn't hear it was. But an earth sign and incest about to become very significant in a, um, Aries life. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy and some kind of ancestral energy, meaning in the family. So I think this is an earth sign. And somehow incest is connected to this earth sign. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, masculine or femme, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. They could have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or go, men, have Jupiter charts. Hopefully it is an adult and not a child. Hopefully somebody do not bring a child into some kind of weird, funky incest situation. I didn't hear that was the case. Oh. A shocking nighttime phone call is about to become very significant in Aries' life. A shocking nighttime phone call is about to become very significant in Aries' life. It is about to shock the hell out of you. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Some kind of shocking nighttime phone call. We have the moon energy here and nighttime on the card with camel. A shocking nighttime phone call. Physically night here with the moon and the dark inner, um, the dark stars. Night, physically, it's going to be nighttime when this phone call happens. And it sounds like you are going to receive the phone call, Aries. If that resonates for you, heard it's going to shock the hell out of you. I feel that could go positive or negative, okay? Because you do have positive and negative energy in here. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard it's going to shock you, so I think it's going to give you an awakening. I mean, I'm just being for real. Whether it's a good or a bad awakening. But it's some kind of shocking phone call at night. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet. Transcending. I feel got to do these first, then we'll do that one. Stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity. News of a pregnancy is about to come to an Aries. One is in the family, one is not. <clears throat> oh my God, why? This is so gross. Oh, God, okay. News of a pregnancy is about to come, uh, be very significant for Aries. One of you guys, I heard it's in the family, one is not. Um, well, I guess it, it doesn't have to be gross. I don't know, I guess I was just thinking of that incest energy. It doesn't have to be incest. It doesn't have to be. Uh, okay, so I hope not. I'm just really grossed out by that incest. I'm just saying. We're moving on. Okay, so you're about to learn of a, a pregnancy, whether it's in the family or not. So I'm presuming in your family or not in your family. So it don't have to be incest. God, I hope it's not. I truly hope it's not. I hope people wake up and get out of that shit. But I'm just being for real. Um, so some kind of pregnancy, whether it's in your family or not in your family, for some, I think it might make you happy. I don't think it's you be, are you pregnant in this aspect, Aries. I think it's somebody else. Um, I think for some, it might make you happy, um, possibly. For some, it might make you sad. Um, we have negative and positive energy in here. Um, but for some, I feel it is in your family, whether you're happy or sad about it. For one, it's not in your family. I hope to God it's not incest. I didn't hear it was. I just really hope it's not, okay? But some kind of pregnancy, okay? But you're about to learn about it, so it's not you pregnant.
An Etsy shop is significant in an Aries life. And videos on YouTube. An Etsy shop and videos on YouTube is significant in Aries life. So, uh, for one of you guys, I think you make videos and you put them on YouTube. Like a uh, the public platform YouTube like this. So, I think for one, you might make videos and put them on a pub public Blah, can't speak. public platform um, like YouTube like I do or you may just watch a lot of videos on YouTube um, how that resonates and applies some kind of videos on YouTube is significant in your life whether you make videos and put them on YouTube or you watch videos uh, on YouTube or both and um, an Etsy shop whether you own an Etsy shop or somebody else owns an Etsy shop or you shop on somebody's Etsy shop business opportunity in that aspect is the videos on YouTube because that can that can produces income or it can um an etsy shop that can produce income so business opportunity in this aspect is videos on youtube whether you are doing them or you utilize somebody's videos on youtube um and then etsy shop happiness And Aries is having a huge wake-up call about a truly happy family in the past. They did not see it clearly in the past, but they are seeing it now, and they're about to see it even more soon. <clears throat> Complete perspective change. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. So, okay, so it sounds like in the past you did, were not seeing clearly about a, a happy family in the past. But you are seeing it now, and I heard soon you're about to see it even more clearly. You were not seeing it clearly in the past, but now it sounds like you're coming around, like the fog is clearing or something, and you're seeing it now. And I heard soon you're about to really see it, about the uh, family that really was happy in the past. Um, but you didn't see it clearly like that in the past, if that makes sense. But soon, But it sounds like the perspective is already changing, and you're seeing it starting to come out of the fog, but soon you're about to really see it. Um, and it's uh, like wake up call energy here. Um, that they truly were happy in the past. I don't think it's your family. I think it's somebody else's family. If this resonates and applies for you. It is someone else's family. It is someone else's family. Okay, it's confirmation. It's somebody else's family. It's not your family. If that resonates for you. But you are heavily connected in their life and you're about to help them in a huge way. Okay, but I heard you're heavily connected in their life and you're about to help them in a huge way. So somehow you're heavily connected. Uh, one, you were heavily connected. One, you are now. Okay, so one, you are heavily connected in the family's life now. One, you was. So one, you were past energy heavily connected in the family's life. They really were happy in the past, but you didn't see it that way. But your perspective has started to change, and soon this is about to change in a huge way. So, for one, you were past energy heavily connected in their life. One, you are connected in their life now. But same situation. You didn't see, you didn't see they were very you didn't see that they were happy in the past, but they really were. But you're starting to perspective change, and soon you're about to really perspective change. I heard you're about to help them in a huge way. I'm assuming the one that is currently connected in their life. Maybe for the one that was past connected in their life, you're going to help them in a huge way too. I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else, Aries. But for one, you were past energy connected in this family's life. You're having a perspective change and you're soon you're about to have a huge perspective change. One, you currently are connected in their life. Same situation, okay? But I heard somebody's about to help them, whether it's the one, one of you guys currently connected in their life or you were past energy connected in their life. But you didn't see that they were happy in the past, but they really were. But perspective's changing. It will continue to change. I think that's the awakening energy as well. For one, a, a gift from a grandchild is about to touch your heart. Your grandchild. For one, a gift from your grandchild is about to touch your heart. So for one of you guys, you have a grandchild. Um... Oh, I love it. <laughs> um, one of you guys, you have a grandchild, just saying. Um, and it sounds like your, grand your grandchild, so it's your grandchild, whether it's a foster grandchild, a biological grandchild, or somebody you call a grandchild. Um, 
they're it sounds like upcoming they're about to give you a gift um and i heard it's going to touch your heart so i think it's going to make you happy like internal happiness um it's the gift that the thought that matters and it's your grandchild about to do this your grandchild aries i heard it's going to touch your heart i feel um it could be masculine or femme grandchild but it's gonna make you very happy that's really beautiful A sunrise and a mimosa is about to become very significant and positive way in Aries' life. A sun, it's going to make you very happy. It's going to make you very happy. A sunrise and a mimosa. So, mimosas, they're good. I haven't had one in like, I think like 10 years, but they're very good. Um, a sun, uh, sunrise and mimosa. So, I think a physical sunrise is what I'm feeling, like watching the sunrise. Maybe one, you're an early riser possibly um or you're just up in the wee hours in the morning and you experience the sunrise uh they can be beautiful just saying so a sunrise and a mimosa a mimosa is an alcoholic drink for anybody doesn't know um i don't feel you are an alcoholic here i just feel maybe you're a social drinker or every now and then purveyor of good alcoholic beverages possibly i don't feel you're alcoholic here um definitely not an alcoholic Okay, it's confirmation. You're definitely not an alcoholic if this resonates for you. So, um, I heard it's about to make you ha happy. I think you might be the same person. That's uh, Maybe you're going to have a mimosa watching the sunrise. And it's going to make you very happy. It's the little things, man. Just saying, just saying. Heard you're definitely not an alcoholic if that resonates for you. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. An Aries, very, very high position, high authority is about to take some time off for their mental health and their physical health. And it is going to be the best thing for them. Much needed time off. After they take care of some very serious situations that will really help mend, mend some situations in their community. Okay, Aries. Very, very high position of authority, whoever you are. I didn't hear what occupation you are. You could be that judge, that high-level manager, or that CEO, or any other occupation that's a very, very high position of authority. But um, I heard you're about to take, um, it sounds like some PTO, um, pay time off, um, is what I'm feeling here. Um, for some, you could, yeah, that's what I'm feeling. I heard very, very high position of authority, so I think you work in the 3D workspace. Um but I heard it's after you take care of some very, very important situation or situations in your community um, to help resolve some imbalance in the universe is what it sounds like. I didn't hear that. That's just intuitively what I feel. Or imbalances in the universe, something to do with your community. So you are a big power play mover in your community is what I'm feeling. Or you can be. Um, so it sounds like you're going to take care of these things before you take your, I think it's PTO. I didn't hear PTO, but that's what I'm feeling. Um, and it sounds like you have plenty of it. Um, it's been a while since you've taken one. It's been a while since you've taken one. It's been a while. So it sounds like, I heard it was much needed. So yeah, and I heard it's been a while. So I think you have a lot of PTO or some kind of vacation time or off time or something, whatever you call it and whatever, wherever you are, I should say. Okay. It's different for different places, different um, corporate entities and different companies or what have you, what have you, okay? I heard it's been a while since you've taken a vacation, but I heard it's for your physical and mental health, um, but it, you're going to take care of some very important things in your community first. Um, I think it's going to make you happy to do this, and then I heard once you do this, you're going to take a very, sounds like a good vacation here, sounds like a good one. It could be a staycation. It could be a traveling far vacation. I didn't hear specifically if it was staycation or, you know, all-inclusive sandals 
uh, resort vacation or whatever it is, okay? But it sounds like you're going to take some much-needed vacation after you handle something very important matter or matters in your community. But you are a power play mover in your community, or you can be. I'll tell you that right now. You're a very, very high position of authority, whatever you are, okay? These going to make you happy to do it, to take the vacation, but also happy to take care of the serious situation or situations in your community before you take the vacation. It, serious imbalances in the community that need to be taken care of. Serious imbalances in the community that need to be taken care of is what I heard. Some kind of serious imbalances in the community. So I'm assuming in your community or a community, however that resonates and applies, that needs to be taken care of. But I, I heard once you do it, you're going to take a vacation, a much needed one. So there's your vacation. I heard it's for your physical and mental health. And it sounds like it's going to be a good one. Like you're going to, I mean, I don't think you're just going to take a day off. I think you're going to take, I didn't hear how long you're going to take. Only you know how long you're going to take off. But I think, I'm thinking it's probably at least going to be a week. Maybe two or three. However much PTO or vacation time you have built up there. The vacation is going to make you very happy. Handling this situation is going to make you very happy. About to take care of some serious business. Okay. Taking the vacation is going to make you happy. Taking care of this business before you go on vacation is going to make you happy. Handling the imbalance or imbalances in your community or a community is going to make you very happy. Um, and then obviously the vacation is going to make you happy um, after you handle whatever serious situation or situation this is. Um, only you know what it is, not anybody else, but it's going to make you very happy. Uh, I heard you're about to really start handling some business. So handling the business is going to make you happy too. And then knowing, I think knowing you handled it before you went on vacation is going to make you happy. And then sitting back, being happy on your vacation, know you handled it is what I'm feeling. Uh, but you, only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. That's what I'm feeling, okay? You plug it in how it resonates. For one, you're not going to take PTO. You're just going to take a weekend and go with friends far distance. And it's going to make all, all the difference for you. Okay, so for one, you're not a very, very high position of authority. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're not a very, very high position of authority. Um, you may be a position of authority, but not a very, very high position of authority. Um, I didn't hear specifically what you are, but it sounds like you work in 3D workspace, but I heard you're just going to take a weekend. You're not going to take any PTO or vacation or whatever, whatever. You're just going to, it sounds like you're off on the weekends or off on a weekend and you're going to, um, it sounds like travel far distance from your current location you reside. I heard with a friend, the friend, and I heard it's going to make you very happy. So congratulations. Uh, you don't have to use your PTO and you can still travel on a weekend. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. It's going to make you very happy. You're not a very, very high position of authority if that resonates for you. But hey, living your best life, no matter where you are in the current energetic space, I'm all about that. And that's just the truth. Cut, you should accept valid criticism. Some serious truth has not been spoken to you, and it's about to be spoken to you. Some serious truth has not been spoken to a feminine energy, and it's about to be spoken to a feminine energy. Some serious truth has not been spoken to you, and it's about to be spoken to you. Some serious truth. You are not this fem energy. For, for one, you are fem energy about to be spoken to you, but the other fem energy is a, is a fem energy. That's not you. Oh, dear God. Okay. So, for one, you are fem energy. 
For one, you're a femme and one, you're a masculine. That's about to be spoken to. Okay, so for one, you're a femme and one, you're a masculine. The serious truth has not been spoken to you. And it's about to be spoken to you, okay? So you plug yourself in where you fit. Are you a femme energy or a masculine energy where serious truth has not been spoken to you and it's about to be spoken to you? You can be masculine or femme who's been in over here. For one, it's a femme energy where serious truth was not spoken to her in the past, but that is, and I heard it should have been, and it's about to be spoken to her. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit. That was a little confusing, but I think I got it. So serious truth has not been spoken to you, Aries, whether you're a masculine or fem Aries, and it's about to be spoken to you. Now, I feel this can go positive or negative. Whether you are a masculine or fem Aries, it has not been spoken to you, but it needs to be spoken to you. Now, I feel that can be on any level, whatever the serious truth is, but it is about to be spoken to you, and you are Aries, okay? I feel that can go positive or negative. And whatever aspect in your life that is, sometimes serious truth. But for one of you guys, it is not you. It is a fem energy. That's not you, Aries. It is a fem energy. And serious truth has not been spoken to her. But I heard soon it's about to be. Now, I feel for some, maybe you are going to speak the serious truth to her, possibly. Or somebody else is going to speak the serious truth to her. Only you know if you're going to speak serious truth to a fem energy or not. Okay? But... For one of you guys, you are Aries, masculine or femme, and serious truth has not been spoken to you yet, and it's about to be. That's good for you. But there's a femme, a femme energy that I don't feel is an Aries um, that has not been spoken to her either, and it's about to be spoken to her, if that makes sense, okay? That's what I'm gathering from the channel. But you plug it in how it resonates, Aries. Um, I feel for some, it can go positive or negative. Um, cause we have the criticism, criticism card and the happiness card. So I feel it can be good or bad news. And I'm just being serious. But I did hear in this situation is serious truth though. It is serious. And I heard this truth for her should have been spoken, um, a while ago, but it wasn't. A long time ago. A long time ago. I heard a long time ago. So the serious truth to her should have been spoken a long time ago, but it wasn't. And to you. And to you. So the serious truth should have been spoken to her a long time ago and to you. But it wasn't. But soon it's about to be spoken to you. Now who it's going to come from, I don't know. And to her, who it's going to come from, I don't know. Maybe for some you're going to speak it to her. I, I mean, I don't know. Only you know your situation story, not anybody else. But like I said, I feel it can go positive or negative. So you plug it in how it resonates, Aries, okay? Transcending. A lawyer's career is about to tank into the ground. For one, they are pedophile. For one, they are cocaine addict. They are in your community. It's about to give you a huge wake-up call. Oh, my Lord. There's two ped um, two lawyers. I heard if this resonates for you, it's in your... They're in, they reside in your community, Aries. So... They're not you, if this resonates for you. I don't feel they're you. It's somebody else. Um, but two lawyers in your community. Now, however you plug into these lawyers, only you know your situation story and anybody else. But I heard two lawyers in your community. One is a coke head, a coke addict. And one is a, um, now I feel that can be masculine femme. Masculine femme, coke head, coke addict, whatever you call those, the cocaine addicted people, I guess. And one is a pedophile. Masculine or femme, they can be masculine or femme, either one of them. But one is a pedophile, I heard specifically, and they are a lawyer, and one is a coke addict. So a coke head, whatever you call them, I guess. Okay, masculine or femme. But I heard their careers are about to tank into the ground. Now, however you're connected to the two lawyers in your community, the coke head lawyer and the pedophile lawyer, uh, I think you're about to learn they're a coke head or a pedophile, or you already know they're a coke head or a pedophile, or you're about to learn it. But I think it's going to give you a huge ass awakening, or it already has. But two lawyers in your community, whether they're a pedophile or a cokehead. For some, I think you might be happy their um, their um, careers are about to tank into the ground. 
uh, for some, maybe not, but you plug it in how it resonates Aries. But two lawyers in your community, their careers are about to tank into the ground. I mean, just boom. Whether they're a masculine or femme cokehead or a masculine or femme um, pedophile. Awakening energy. For one, through many series of chain of events, you're about to go through a huge spiritual awakening and it is about to benefit you in a huge way. For one, you are religious and for one, you're not. Okay, well, that's good. So for one, you're about to go through, and I felt spiritual, uh, I didn't hear, I didn't feel spiritual awakening energy in here earlier. I just felt awakening energy. But then this aspect, this is spiritual awakening. And so it's a little different than just an awakening, like a wake up call, but spiritual awakening here. Now, you can be spiritual and religious, or you can just be spiritual like me. I, I don't discriminate. Just saying, just saying, okay? But for one, I heard you are spiritual, just spiritual. One, you are spiritual and religious. So there's at least two of you in here about to have spiritual awakenings. Whether you are spiritual and religious, or you are just spiritual. I don't judge either one, and that's just the truth. I don't. Some people do. I don't. But you can have spiritual awakenings and be spiritual and religious or just spiritual. And that's just the truth. Um, so spiritual awakening energy coming for at least two of you guys, whether you are spiritual and religious or you are just spiritual. But in this aspect, it is spiritual awakening. The transcending is spiritual awakening, not just a wake, wake up call or an awakening. Okay. Spiritual awakenings are a little different than just wake up calls. Um, it's connected to your spirituality, your growth and your spiritual um, your spirituality, whether you were spiritual and religious or just spiritual. And spiritual uh, awakenings are always messy. Uh, if For whoever, if you've never had one before, um, I'm sorry, that was my dryer. If you've never had one before, I just want to let everybody know. Um, I feel for some, you've already had probably several in your life. I know I have. I'm a 39-year-old woman. I've had many. But just to let you know, um, if you never had a spiritual awakening before, whether you're spiritual, religious, or just spiritual, they are always messy, but they always include spiritual growth. And they're always different for everybody. And that's just the truth. But for one, you're about to have one, whether you were spiritual and religious or just um, spiritual, whether you've had, this is your first one or your hundredth, okay? I love you guys. I hope this helps so much. And namaste.